What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to cast a replay for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the page 2.22 on a beautiful map feeling deal between good and evil. Gondor versus Mordor. Yin, Yang. You both need, you need both the parts for the perfect balance of the world. And just like in the films, we will see orcs fighting against the soldiers of Gondor. Unlike in the films, this column is kind of brief. He's gonna try to stop the soldiers. In the meantime, the Hobbit was able to get the settlement. This one has already been taken. Mordor also having two settlements under his control. The goal of Mordor player is, of course, to delay the soldiers to this location with the Golem. So hit, run, be annoying until you get like additional orcs. So ideally, you want to have a four versus two situation. But this is good here, right? So basically, you are able to stall this. Don't lose your Golem. Golem is faster than peasants, orcs, or soldiers. So you have the chance to kite. Hit, be annoying, run away. And now they have been taking damage. And it's going to be a 4v2 situation. Even with the heal, you can't fi fight this. In this game, when you play you know, Mordor or Gondor, you don't want to choose a power point early game. So you need to wait. When you use I at the beginning of the fight, your opponent can just choose the Alvin Wood and counter this. So... And if you go for the Alvin Wood as Gondor early game, then he can just choose Tainted Land and cover this. So you need to be patient, you know? So let's see if they can deal damage to the settlement. Orcs also gonna be pressuring the settlement, that's good. We have two farms, Blacksmith into the Siebel. The soldiers still alive, and they will get the chance to clump against the Lumber Mill. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, look the focus. Nice clumping. Now you can go for the, eye, uh, for the heal. There comes the heal. That's gonna motivate Mordor to pick up the Eye of Sauron, of course. Yeah, there we go. He demolished it a bit too late, I believe. The soldiers are able to get experience and they can fight this. I will only give you damage, no armor. Which means soldiers will take more damage from you, but you still take the full damage from the soldiers as well. If they get level 2, that's gonna be big. And you see, he was underestimating the soldiers and overestimating the orcs. But luckily, he has two slaughterhouses inside the base. The farm here is going to be taken down. The orcs are dealing now more damage to the farms, making it kind of impossible for you to ignore them. Ah, a new horde of orcs. <laughs> In level 2 orcs. Beautiful. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to creep this ESCP. Outpost control from Mordor is essential against good factions like Gondor and Rohan. And I would also love to see this one. Yeah, Aradrim Palace for the outpost control. And also later on, you have the chance to recruit the soldiers of Rune. Which, of course, are also great, right? So, basically, they are like the pikemen of Isengard to counter the Gondor Knights. Gondor have a couple of options, has a couple of options. So, um, you know, I like to do this. I like to go with, when I know it's Mordor, I don't like to go for Blacksmith. I make double farm opening. So, I have, like, cheaper horses. I don't go upgrades against Mordor, usually. I actually straight up crash Gandalf. So, I recruit some Gondor Knights to creep, to pressure, to collect power points. And then I rush, without upgrades, Gandalf to fight. But if you have an amazing start with Gondor, if you have like lots of power points, you can also go for upgrades. Unlock the Grey Company summon from your spellbook. And with shields, blades, and Grey Company, you can actually deal devastating amount of damage. Because Grey Company is able to deal easily with two, three trolls, as long as they have no leadership from the Drummer Troll, which they usually don't at this point of the game. Beautiful fight from soldiers, I mean Gondor Knights, that's good. And of course, as expected, Mordor losing map control. But he was able to creep a lot, right? He was able to creep this Goblin Lear, this Goblin Lear, and also this Goblin Lear. And for that reason, he's getting closer to the industry power spike. Massive power spike for the evil factions. When you play against good factions, it's very necessary. Because, you know, you can't... There is going to be a time window in which you can't protect your settlements. And that's exactly this point of the game. But fortunately for Mordor... From losing orcs, you also gain power points. Gondor is creeping quite a lot. There are still creeps left on this side of the map. There. And also there. And of course, by creeping this, Gondor will get more farms, more map control. He left the money on the ground. And, you know, when you know what your opponent is up to, you can kind of try to counter this by capturing this outpost like Zemix did. It's a great choice. I like that. But you need to make sure that you are able to protect it. And if you see Haradrims, you need to know that Easterlings or Runes are about to come. And what is a great and a cheap counter to this? Of course, Faramir. You know, Faramir or Boromir are very good against 
soldiers of Rune because they are very weak against heroes. Gondor is creeping. But I think he has no money for this. Yeah, he's going for a, for a statue. Even with the statue, you can't fight this. The level 3 Gondor Knight has to be careful. Hard countering, by the way. Pikeman kind of crazily countering the Knights of Gondor. And they are also very tanky. Against everything, but against the... What happened? Did you guys see this? Huh? Is this guy cheating? Was did I, did I... Did you just witness what I've witnessed? Is this... Did the archer range just build in a second to full? Are you kidding me? An outpost has no protection. <laughs> the runes are going to be able to destroy this. The archers can't be recruited. And Boromir is being recruited for now. But will he be there in time? I think so. We will see the glory days of Gondor once more. Yes, also, also three power points enough for a great company. I stand as the captain of Gondor. He stands as the captain of Gondor. Not demolishing this is a big mistake. Look the chunk of power points Mordor is going to be able to get from it. Watch this. Boom. You see? Statue, sentry towers, and wells are so rewarding. For that reason, you, as the player who's controlling them, need to make sure to demolish them in time. In time need. You need to demolish them before they hit the 50% HP mark. It's extremely important. Boromir is very strong, but of course the runes, they are using the porcupine formation, quite tanky. Boromir is kind of bugging out, <laughs> like in the films. <laughs> in the meantime, Mordor taking over. Mordor completely taking over. So, when you realize, it's gonna play them, that you can't finish Mordor early game. You need to make your own preparations for the late game. And the preparations we are talking about is Boromir, earlier Boromir, and also Faramir. Like Bar Boromir is very tanky, but there are just too many units to deal with. You see, Boromir is not busted. Like, he's not one-shotting them, you know? He's gonna use heal. Look, the runes with the porcupine formation are still very tanky. He's gonna get close to level 4. 3 power points for Mordor. Gondor is refusing to use the Great Company around this location. He's gonna finally do it after Boromir has been taking a lot of damage. The reason why Boromir keeps staying around this location, though, is to block Mordor from capturing this outpost. And the second he's leaving, that's the plan for Mordor, is gonna instantly take it and place the Haradrims on top of it. And now the, you know, Grey Company can't take it down anymore. Boromir was barely able to survive. He's almost level 4, but not quite there. With 4,000 plus resources for uh, the Gunner player. He's saving up for, which, uh, for Ganav, of course, you know. And Mordor has in total 3.6k. So zero trolls. He's spamming the runes as a count unit to the horses. But as mentioned before, you can easily counter this by Faramir too. You can snipe them from a long distance and you should be good to go. No upgrades for Gondor. There's also this outpost over here under his control. No arches inside of it. At least put Hobbit in it, you know. But Gandalf is going to be recruited. If there is a problem, there is a solution. And the solution's name is Gandalf. The white. And he has the power points to turn the grey into the white wizard. Boromir has to chill a bit to recover to back to full HP. And then he can also contribute, you know. Unlike in the films, he was not <laughs> making it into the second and third film of the trilogy. I, I was kind of sad, dude. I mean, I know many people have like the hate relationship to Boromir. But I think it was because of the ring. He was kind of weak-minded as most men are. But then he was kind of helping, I mean, not helping, but of course he was helping too. But he was kind of regretting the behavior of himself and was trying to kind of get the redemption arc, you know. He was trying to apologize to Frodo Baggins, was, was dying protecting the other halflings like Pippin and Merry. So Boromir, a giga chat, as Twitch community would like to call them, call him. We have the White Wizard, this has to be good for something. But there is going to be a... Actually not, he didn't go for the Nazgul, he's going for the Troll Cage. And what I like to do also is to make combos. But, you know, you don't need combos that, that much against Gondor. Early game, you need it later on. When Gondor has to... has the special summon of the Eagles. But for now you don't need it. But you, what you should be doing instead is to get a seed. Uh, Witch King and plenty of trolls. So Witch King, Drama Troll and uh, Darkness will make your trolls almost invincible. So, you know, Ganov's Easter Light will tickle them. But there is a White Wizard. Blast them. He's not blasting them. Before upgrades, I would go for the Marketplace, by the way. He's gonna blast the runes, no problemo. And the outpost now will be taken down. 
But of course, he's spamming the level 4 horse. What is he doing? Oh, he's running it down. Desperate charge. But there is a warrior. <laughs> Pippin from the Shire. Can he do it against plenty of Oryx? He's gonna go inside. He's gonna hide. He's gonna throw rocks from a safe place. Ganoff is to root it to this location to not lose it. It's an archer range. And for that reason, I always recommend you guys to build archer ranges in your castle. Because in order to get it to level 2, you need to recruit 3 of the Gondor archers. That's gonna take you legit 75 seconds with additional 30 seconds. So 105 seconds in total until you get to the point of being able to, I mean, of purchasing the fire arrows. This, that's like 2 minutes. 2 minutes in RTS schemes is a very long time. Darkness awaitable. But Gondor is 3 power points too. How much does how much money does Mordor have? 1,700. So he has but he has four trolls with three in their hands, and also the drama troll is incoming. So darkness plus drama troll is just enough. Boromir, use horn, horn, horn. <laughs> no horn, no survival. The captain of Gondor has been overwhelmed, just like in the films, fighting alone against the. I mean, in, in the films he was fighting against Uruks, here against the men of the east. They're also looking very dangerous, though. Look like a supermodel, you know? Looks, looks like an X-Man. <laughs> okay, Gandalf is coming a little bit too late. Remember, the War of Power is not very useful against Mordor, but the blast is took One shot, one opportunity. But take a look into the minimap, boys. You know, Gandalf can't be everywhere. Gandalf is, I mean, also, that, that's the fact, by the way. Gandalf is the best hero in the game. Low key, that's the case. But he can't win the game solo. That you can split the map in two, three pieces, and Ganoff has to rotate. And the rotating time is gonna take a while. And, you know, he can't be everywhere. He has no teleportation ability unlocked yet. He needs to be level 11 for this. Darkness available. I mean, Gondor wasn't even able to see the castle of Mordor just yet. By the time he will see this, he was like, he was like, Oh my god, what can I do against such a reckless heat? That's gonna be his reaction in, in real time. Five trolls. What you wanna do in this situation, I'm telling you, is you wanna history the drummer troll, okay? Drummer troll without another drummer troll is very weak, very vulnerable against Ganoff. So the Easter light will actually one shot the drummer troll. Unless there is another drummer troll that gives the other drummer troll armor leadership. That's like an encouragement for the players to not be greedy, to not go only for one drummer troll. You actually at least need two. Oh, <laughs> the soldiers of Rune are no more. And the one orc, watch this, the one orc, can he do it? Can he do it? Oh my. The Gondor Knights are not putting anything. The one orc against the world. The age of man is old. Watch this. What a, <laughs> what a sad way to lose the outpost right in front of your face. And he, he was like, okay, you take it down. I, I will let you have this one. It's only 700 I'm losing for no reason. There's no marketplace. You cannot see the glow animation on the farms and blacksmith. But Gondor Eco is still not looking too bad. Now he has the Eagle Special Summon. And Mordor has nothing that can shoot. Yet. He might need it though. That, that's what I'm saying, you know? At this point of the game, you need archers against Mordor. Against Gondor, I mean. Eagles gonna crush you. It, regardless about how much leadership you have, Eagles are actually dealing crazy amount of damage. And this combined with the Eastery, Ganov, who's also level 7, each level making his abilities also deal more damage. Eagles special summon unlock from the Spearbok. Darkness has been used. That comes... Ooh, they are okay. Hold on a second. All right. The, okay, but this is going to be a disaster. Oh, boy. Actually not. Boromir, the captain of Gondor. Boromir is a very brave man to stand against these mighty creatures of Mordor. I mean, they have so much leadership. They don't, they don't even die that fast from the eagles. Darkness is... I mean, now he has two drama trolls. At this point, just kill the normal trolls. Don't waste time to kill the drama trolls. Kill the normal trolls. 
Okay, now the drama trolls are gone. Leadership is gone. So basically, now the eagle's gonna deal true damage. Watch this. Like the eagle. Oh! Overkill. Don't lose your Ganov like this. Okay, never mind. But, I mean, it's okay though. Yes, I mean, that's a win for Gondor. No doubt about that one. But look at the amount of stuff he lost. Right? He lost the archer range. He lost two level three blacksmiths, right? He lost a part of the wall, which also will cost him 2,000. He lost the citadel for another 1,000. So he lost like, what, 5,000? Low-key 5,000, including Boromi, of course. And Gondor had to use a special summon for defensive purposes too. That's also like a win in Mordor's book. And during all this time, he was able to take over the map too. Especially the archer range hurts the most. Remember, he was not, Gondor player was never able to recruit rangers all game long because he was super greedy, trying to always go for the archer range until the last moment at the outpost, which is a big mistake. Just don't do this. Try to do it in your... Oh boy, that's gonna be a disaster. Level 8 Knights of Gondor against the Witch King, but Ganeth is coming and it's gonna use the Eastery Light on them. The Witch King doesn't care. Eastery has been used. It chunks him to 50% HP, but you need two Easteries. Unfortunately, you can't have two wizards when you play Gondor. So, no firepower. Paramir has been killed. Boromir has been killed. He has only one Gondor archer without fire arrows inside the outpost, and that's simply not going to be enough. It seems like that everything in this game goes in, the, in favor of Mordor. He has been doing a good job map controlling, spamming those runes, utilizing the strength of the Man of the East, and playing it and punishing his opponent, I mean, by every single mistake he does. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, he could be a bit more careful with the runes. They were kind of running into Gandalf a couple of times. But so is the Gunner player running into the into the runes. And for that reason, I mean, like I said, guys, that's like a tip from my side to you. Screech can be used here. It's on cooldown, though. No? Oh, okay, which king is dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <gasps> oh, boy. Not even close. No man can kill me. <laughs> I am no man. You are actually man. Great company. You are man. But imagine Faramir. Um, imagine Faramir is having his moment if he was there using the warning arrow just in the last possible second. Just like when Witch King was saying, okay, I'm safe. Faramir is charging the warning arrow. Blast him. Nice. Can I be doing a good job? Archer range, I I think he built the archer range now for like fifth time or something. But this time can be the time in which he can finally buy the fire arrows. So, Mordor is up to 13 power points, almost 13 power points. He needs a quarter and seven more power points to unlock his ancient demon. Maybe, but just maybe, you might see a moment of the Balrog versus Yana Dwight later in the game. But just maybe. In the meantime, Gondor player is up to 7 power points. That means he only needs 3 power points for his own mighty special summon, the Offbreakers. But keep in mind that AOD is not the greatest against Mordor. Especially when Mordor gets to recruit these two Nazgûs, AOD can't target flying heroes. Faramir has not been able to show his quality in this game, let me tell you that much. It's very sad. But he's level 4 at least. And Boromir is also level 5, I believe, right? That's actually big, because you need the leadership from Boromir to actually kill the trolls with your rangers. But where is Boromir at? There he is, okay. He's level 5. This doesn't stun trolls, of course. It's not... Trolls don't care about your horn. <laughs> they are deaf. They are deaf, you know. They can't hear it, so that's the problem. You can't stun them if they can't hear it. Oh, trampling into the runes, but they are damaged. The Gondor Knights are level 6. They are very strong. With leadership of Kenneth, they can fight this, no problem. So he's finally recruiting some of the Rangers. Uh, he needs resistances to fear too. And there are two ways for Gondor to get it. And, and you know, either Kenneth has to be close to them, or Faramir has to be level 5 and also close to them. The second part of the wall is going to be broken. Don't run into the middle reach. The trolls are charging, charging, charging. Use Boromir. <gasps> Boromir, don't use him. Don't use him. Go back. He is going to be used. Oh, Boromir can't get up. He can't get up. The Witch King scaring all of them. Where is Gandalf and we need it? Gandalf is getting bodied. He got sandwiched in between three mountain trolls. Look at them go! The Witch King was trying to kill the Eagles actually, but he is no match against the mighty 
beings sent from the Valars themselves. Yes, the Eagles will come in handy in this situation too, but once again, similar situation to the last time, take a look into the minimap. There is only two farms and an outpost that is destroyed from Gondor. That's all he got. He lost a couple of trolls, but he was able to kill Boromir once again. And Gandalf, Gondor is kind of broke his poor. He can't even afford to revive his wizard. That's how poor he is at this point of the game. Marketplace is gonna help, but you need to demolish it. You don't, you, can, you don't need to hold it. You can demolish it to make place for one more resource building. And he needs almost 2,500 to revive his wizard. Which is, and also, additionally, you need 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And we have been talking about the time, how important the time actually in this, is in this game. The runes are getting killed by the rangers. No, I mean, actually, never mind. Faram is almost level 5. Oh boy, now he has combos though. You can see the glow animation is so strong that it looks like they are healing. You see the front line, the orcs, how white they are, you know. It's of the darkness in the witch and drama leadership. So no more kills all game long, but more to the storage, you know. He has outposts over here, multiple lumber mills around. Like he has so much money that he can do all of that to get at the same time. So you can go for multiple trolls. Look, he has queued up trolls. He has queued up five runes in his Haradrim Palace level 3. He was able to buy banner, fire rolls, and make combos too, sim simultaneously. He can afford all of that, and that's the importance about the map control. He has three combos, his command points almost kept, but the Witch King is dead. However, the power points are almost loaded to get to summon the Balrog. There comes the UD, but Balrog is going to be unlocked too. Balrog is going to be used for the defense. Faramir against the demon of the ancient world. He doesn't want to fight Faramir. He's scared of Faramir. You better fly away, Balrog, because this guy has been waiting for this moment all his life. He's going to breath fire at the gates. For no reason, actually, because there are two parts broken. You can enter. It's like all you can enter Buffy. Uh, destroy this one. But Gondor is the outpost, so he can revive his scanner from the outpost. I hope he did, because this city is going to get destroyed, 100%. Can he breath fire one more time? That's the big question. I think he can. He's waiting for it. He's going to breath fire, but he lost. No, never mind. He will still one-shot them. And tremendous amount of damage dealt. Remember, he can't only one-shot the production buildings. Production buildings are buildings you can use to recruit units from. So basically, barracks, archery range, or stable for men, or gun affection. Uh, you know, for Mortar, it's Orc Pit. Uh, also, Siege Works count as a production building. Uh, for Mortar, it's Troll Cage, Orc Pit, Haradrim Palace, Siege Works too. These structures can't be one shot by Balrog. Balrog was OP in the official version of the game because he was single handedly able to destroy a whole castle of Gondor, Rohan, and Isengard too. Oh, it's a big, big mistake to fight this, in my opinion. Don't run. Don't lose your high level, please. Don't lose the level 7. Put Boromi next to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. If the leadership level 10, Witch King is coming, but Farami is giving resistances. They have no, this is only the great company summon, you know, they, they, are, they are not actual rangers. Remember, he lost the archer range again. He has no potential to recruit any more archers, no firepower. And the great company, as strong as they are from the summon, they are only early mid game strong units. Against mighty Witch King, they don't deal too much damage. But Farami is alive, and Boromir is alive too, that's good. The last troll is gonna be taken down by Faramir, Boromir is gonna be saved, level 6, Gloria of Gondor unlocked. Full map control for Mortar, a thousand resources, 6 power points, he can go for Scavenger to get even more cash. Um, actually, he's not that rich, to be honest with you. I mean, he's kinda spamming trolls all the time, runes all the time, and combos all the time, that's why. But uh, maybe it would be a better choice to actually go for like the second and third Nazgul, you know? To have like more air power you know what i mean because your opponent is struggling to deal with this he has no firepower he lost the archer range he needs to again recruit three more gondor archers oh wait <gasps> is this gonna be enough no it's not gonna be enough but even close where is faramir faramir died in the meantime fighting against the orcs orcs are crushing them this guy is now using the one of gondor now it's too late they are level three now 
Ganov is now back in the business, can Ganov turn the game around? The Eagles were special summoned to kill the Witch King. Remember, Witch King, you can revive him for free, yes, but it will take you 4 minutes and 15 seconds to get back the ruler of Engmar into the game. 4 minutes and 15 seconds. That's a long time. So just so you know, 8 minutes and 30 seconds is the cooldown of EOD in Balrog. And almost half of this duration you need to invest to re revive your Witch King from the game, from the graveyard. Yanaf is level... Went for the, uh, this one, for the Vestigian, and also for the Scavenger. So he's only missing the last power point, which is called the Hard Beautiful Blast from the Young Wizard. Using the Shield Bubble, taking damage, I will be used, and fly, Shadow Fags. Get out there. Get out there as soon and as fast as you can get. Darkness is available. Eagles are on cooldown. That's a massive cooldown for the, for the Mortar player to play against. So he needs, he knows Eagles are on cooldown. And that's one of the strongest tools. Hold on a second. That's gonna hurt. hurt. He counted the trolls down. Quadra kill for the young wizard. And now there comes the cloud break. I give some fear resistances. But they are slowed down. They are weak. Boom. The Lord of the Rings and the Gandalf show. And boom. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Easter it deals crazy bonus damage to the, to the drummer trolls. So it's better in most cases to, you know, use it against the plus 100 in the bank. You get now additional money. He's even level 7. Can Gondor actually get back into this game somehow? I hope so. It would be nice because he has been losing all game long. I mean, he has even lost again. That's why I like to make Mumakis myself. Because Mumakis are, you know, go, go big or go home units. So you either go ham with them, you go make crazy play. Maybe sometimes unintentionally. So they charge and you can't even control them. And they charge into the right direction. And you get like fiesta moments. But sometimes they also feed. But it's like go big or go home unit. And for that reason, I like them the most. Never went for the second last goal. The Witch King is being revived at this point. EOD is going to be available sooner compared to Balrog, but a little bit sooner. Heal is going to be used, blast, but there are still some runes. You don't want to joke with them. They are still very strong. And Ganav also can basic attack them. People don't understand it. Ganav is actually having like a crazy basic. Oof, oof, oof. He has bubble. He has bubble. He should be fine, but he has no more heal. Keep in mind. It's a smart move from Mortal player to target the Ganalf with all the towers. That's what you want to do, by the way. The second you see a hero coming into your castle, click on every single structure, including towers it can shoot, and right-click on the hero you want to get killed. This is super effective against heroes like Thurin, for example, who are very weak in armor. There comes the Grey Comp- not Grey Company, the Rohirrim Special Summon. Remember, Gondor is the best summons in the game, the best spellbook actually. In the very, very late game, you have to deal with the rotation of the additional summons every few minutes. And that's one of the situations. But Witch King is going to be back in the business very, very soon. EOD, almost available. available and Balrog is almost available too. Now the Rangers are coming to sport. Two Ranger squads. But remember, they have the sport from Gandalf, Paramir, and also Boromir leadership. The Screech won't work as long as Faramir is nearby. Oh, he's not gonna make it out alive. You don't even need to use... He's gonna use the Easter Light Overkill. But remember, Baldrock is available. Baldrock is gonna be summoned on top of the Witch, of, on top of the Gandalf. Gandalf is being chunked. Faramir is being chunked. Use your... He's on the hunt. You wanna get the wizard. You know what I'm saying? The Call of the Heart has been used on, on this. Uh, the EOD is killing what is remaining. And Witch King has been killed once again. The Breath Fire will be used to kill the Rangers. Scavenger is giving you cash. Ganav is fast enough to dodge. And Faramir is being kind of shot in the face. Tuck, 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 tuck. And dying to the towers. Ganav is barely getting away. Remember, every single level 3 structure, especially slaughterhouses, are able to shoot you down. The Balrog is flying on top of the Gondor Knights. Nice. It's gonna Breath Fire. Level 10 is gonna be burnt. Kill the level 10 too. The Rangers, they get literally crushed from the Balrog too. Yes, he wasn't able to kill the Gandalf, but he was able to stole and got, got so much money from the Scavenger. And that's the proof that Scavenger is so good. In the meantime, he was going for a base rush with the runes. You see, he was still able to do a great amount of damage. Multiple towers though, making it kind of hard to commit to this area. And Mordor has to revive his Nazgul and has to get a Witch King on the field. 
look one suggestion i can make to you guys don't kill units so don't invest more money than you have to so here's two more kills in the queue that's 3600 resources right just make one of them then you have additional money you can do you can use right now right now is for example recruit a nazgul or go for maybe i don't know like here's so many units queued up nazgul would be a perfect choice it will help you to get map control you can use a nazgul to you know crash farms you don't even need to fight with them but mordor is being surrounded now it looks like it's gonna be in the films you know it looks like mortar is kind of annoying to deal with for the majority of the time but in the end it doesn't even matter <laughs> okay i like this game dude give me such a crazy game i mean i don't know i don't know how, how many years i've been playing this game but i just can't get enough of it you know okay trolls are charging it's a risky move because at some point you need to know the the, the cooldowns right so you need to know okay he summoned the eagles a few minutes ago they have to be back up so this army has zero potential to deal with the eagles oh, 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 oh. all right all right all right he has even fire rolls on them but rangers dude rangers dude you better run away imagine him charging this way imagine him charging this way this girl is on fire <laughs> Four Veolingas, but there is one more movement kill. Call the Heart has been activated. There comes the Eagle Special Summon. Darkness, he's holding it. It's on cooldown. That's why he can't use it. The Witch King is still cooking in the revival department. The Mumma kill doesn't charge when he's not being attacked by fire. Only fire can trigger this charge. Ganef is being a little bit chunked, but it's fine. Cloudbreak has been used. Every evil unit will get stunned and blasted from the Gandalf, who is, by the way, now level almost 10. So, War of Power is almost available. Again, not extremely useful against creatures like Mumakis and Trolls, but still deals kind of good amount of damage to them. At least knocks them back from you. I mean, Trolls only. You can't knock Mumakis. It would like, imagine a Mumakis flying from the shockwave of the <laughs> War of Power. It would like kind of look awkward, right? So, he's trying to go commit to the Citadel. Call the Horde is on cooldown. He's gonna use the Lightning Sword. And Gandalf is now officially level 10, boys. The Word of Power is available. Do it. My wizard. Do it. I mean, Matthias played a crazy game. Early mid game, flawless game. But he had struggled to finish the game, to go for the finishing move. Meet too many of the runes. You shall not pass. He made too many of them. You know, but you you have trolls at some point you don't need too many of them they cost also like 300 and he had like maybe invested like six seven thousand he could go for additional nazgus go for the moment kills a bit earlier but if he would have done this the game would be over earlier and we wouldn't get the chance to see a fiesta game like this so i'm happy just giving tips eventually i think mortal is strong in the lead game if you play it properly so you need to just move as a target you have your combos and trolls you don't want to split them you just move with them in one group your combos your drama your trolls you just move together your trolls are gonna be only there to attack gandalf if he goes for a blizzard blast or to crush the enemy gondor knights if they go for a trample you don't even need to attack with them they are just protectors bodyguards of your combos and if you protect your combos the eagles will get one shotted they don't stand a chance it's gonna history nice double kill for the young trolls he's look this strong look how strong the troll is you see like huge army right three trolls two of them got immediately taken down but you see if the trolls get the chance to hit with leadership of witch king drama troll and darkness they are really strong you know look drama troll gets knocked down from the captain of gondor is also level seven he's been using the four gondor ability farami is level eight that's like the biggest potential of gondor you can't get any stronger than that the OD is going to be available for the third time very soon. I mean, it was a good game. Gondor kind of holding it very nicely, you know. Two broken parts of the wall. Actually, four broken parts of the wall. And still end up winning this game. It's kind of big shout out, you know, to Gondor player. I like it. I really do like it. Paramir also has been doing a good job. All the heart has been used. <laughs> Build me an army. Worthy of Mordor. What is Paramir doing? 
One does not simply walk into Mordor, Boromir. You must have known this better than everybody else. One does not simply walk into Mordor and gets away with it. Oh? And he gets away with this too. I mean, this dude is zooming now. It's actually kind of funny. He was so slow in the you know, official version of the game. He was so weak and so bad. Now he's actually good and strong and fast. Like a true captain of the Gondor faction has to be. There comes the EOD summon to tank the damage. So they are immune to tower damage. As you can see, they are taking zero damage. The Witch King has been re recruited. Uh, he's actually kind of chunked. He can use the E-Study. Might be enough. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be enough. Oh, <laughs> Witch King is falling on the Rangers. It's the glory days of Gondor. The Rohirrim attacking from the other side. As you can see, it takes the whole strength of the Rohan and Gondor to take down the Mordor, just like in the films. And that's one of the main reasons why I like BFME the most, BFME 1 the most, because it's like replaying the games, replaying the trilogy every single game you play this game. Four factions, every single hero unit you see there in the films. He summoned the Balrog somewhere. Oh, he went for the... Ah, okay. Looks smart move. But he wanted to go for the base rate, dude. Look, he's giving them eyes already. He will actually be able to destroy this too. I didn't see that coming. I think Gondor is coming ahead from this one too. Maybe he will be able to destroy this. But there are too many towers. And Cloudbreak reducing their movement speed and also their armor quite a bit, you know. Look, they are getting melted by the towers. Cloudbreak making them lose 30% of their armor and speed. And the, it's rebuilding all the time. And too many towers in the great company. Great attempt. I like it. But Cloudbreak also like count, nice counterplay. So he was not reacting fast enough with the Eye of Sauron. Remember? You shall not pass. So Gondor was able to hold his own castle. And he will be able to capture the opening castle as well. Two castles. And one outpost to rule them all. The eagles are coming. Quick question. Why didn't the eagles grab Frodo and bring him to the mount too? <laughs> I know, I think I've been getting asked this question like plenty of times, you know? But imagine that would be the case. Imagine if they even could, that would be boring. Like this game. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.